this was stepping way outside of my comfort zone. They were built-ins that came from a house that they were demolishing and they were still in really good condition. I got this wallpaper and did it when Marcella wasn't looking one day. Both of us always wanted to have a custom home that we built it ourselves. I'm Selena. I'm Marcelo. And this is Billy the Bus. Come on in. All right, this is the living slash dining area. Um, we play a lot of cards at this table. We initially wanted a dinette. We've seen a lot of people that, you know, have modular furniture that can fold into a bed. Um, and we thought that'd be super fun. But ultimately I got this idea for these chairs from another bus and, um, and I fell in love with them and they sort of created the look for our whole bus. It was all, we start, we, we like a lot of black and dark colors, but this teal color just kind of came about once I fell in love with these chairs. So this one's on a hinge. Um, all of our batteries are stored underneath there so we can get to them if we need to. Um, and then this beautiful table is kind of our pride and joy. It's, um, we made it on a whim one day. We knew we needed a table couldn't find one to the exact specs uh, that we needed to mount here. And so we decided to get creative and we printed out a bunch of pictures from our travels over the years, a um, couple of Halloween costumes, just things that make us happy and remind us why we're on this journey. Um, my great grandmother has a window seat. Her name's Billy and that's who we named the bus after because she was just the ultimate road tripper. She loved a road trip. She was just hilarious and sharp and witty into her mid nineties. Um, and in that picture, she's actually watching Marcelo skate a do tour on a laptop. Like she was just really with it and just an awesome lady. So it's our namesake of the bus. She's got a window seat up here on the shelf. Um, we wanted to keep it kind of minimal. Marcelo didn't want to hit his head getting into the <laughs> dinette because it is pretty tight. Um, so we just used a leftover piece of wood from our countertop project. Um, and it came from my aunt's farm in Tennessee. So it's special. Uh, just a little shelf to display a few of our little treasures when we get parked. Um, every time we drive, obviously everything comes down and goes into a bin and sits in the passenger seat. And then we park and it comes back up. So the blinds are actually paper. Um, we didn't know how well that would work, but again, we'd seen them, someone posted these somewhere along the lines and I thought they were great. You cut them to size, um, just stick them up there and use the clips to raise them and lower them to whatever level you want. So they've been really handy. They black everything out nicely and, and they're easy and lightweight. So uh, we, used to have the bifold swing doors and put them together um, to make this beauty. We liked the look of the bus door, the traditional bus door, but obviously didn't want to have the, the arm going across the entry. So we did that. It's been a little bit of a challenge, but um, we've got a deadbolt on it. And then up here in this little pocket, um, we still use the original pin that drops down into the door and then we just kind of close it off and pretend it doesn't exist when we're parked. A little bit of storage up here just for our curtain that we drop down at night, our headlamps when we go out at night, um, some more window covering um, curtains and whatnot. Those go in the front when we're parked. And then up here we have all of our toiletry type stuff. Um, lots of toothbrushes and toothpaste and shampoos and all that good stuff. Sunglasses, important. And then over here, just some electronics, the GoPro and Marcelo's box of treasure. I always call it because I don't know what he keeps in there. And up here, just more storage. We keep our board games, um, our cards. We love to play Uno Flip. It's our favorite. We've passed many hours with that game. So just, yeah, lots of stuff packed in there. Towels, sometimes we'll go up there. And uh, we made this cup holder just recently, actually. Um, the bus came with a big 
giant cup holder monstrosity and it was just taking too much precious space. So we eventually got around to making this cute little one. Over here is our control panel. Um, we've got Renogy solar, uh, 400 watts on the roof, a 3000 watt inverter, 450 amp hours of lithium batteries, and pretty much when we need to turn on the inverter, our button's just floating around. We can move it around the house, take it to bed with us if that's easier. Um, and then I put this little <laughs> paper curtain over this to block the light at night because it glows right in my eyeballs. I think I've been trying to get us to be on the road <laughs> for what, like 12 years? Yeah. We've been married 13. I don't know. We always traveled a lot and always been on the road and we love road trips and it's probably where we feel the most happy. So why not live in a road trip? Yeah, we um, went to Iceland summer of 2021 and really got inspired by all of the van life caravans and overlanding vehicles and things that we saw there. Um, we went to a coffee shop that was built into a school bus and um, we included its photo in our table because it was instrumental in just coming over to the schooly side of things specifically. Um, we thought maybe we'd get a van at first or, you know, something. We didn't really know what we were looking for. Um, and then the bus life just kind of found us and we fell in love with the amount of space we have and just kind of the quirkiness of it and the fact that we could just really be creative in, in the build. And um, yeah, San Diego was wonderful and a great place to live and grow up and skateboard. But um, just as prices got really expensive and COVID made us all rethink our priorities, this just sort of seemed like like a good choice for a while prices didn't seem to match reality i've always been like man how can he like it's just absurd you know it, it's not worth as much as they're trying to make you pay it's like so we just felt cheated and felt like we were getting swindled <laughs> um and yeah this and both of us always wanted to have a custom home that we built it ourselves. So this was both things. We could be on a road, we could be moving, and we could also have that thing that we put all our heart into it and build it ourselves. And I think you cannot put a price on that. This is our kitchen and countertop that took us 17 years to build. No, I'm just kidding. It, it was a long process, but I'm very happy with how it came out. We have a pretty deep sink to do our dishes. I mean, we both really like black. That's my favorite color. So everything, all the details and throughout the house is our matte black. So. I'm really stoked on this for the sink, like, cause you can like put your dishes to dry on top of it and it just rolls away and stay stuck. Like if you don't need to use it or stove top, it's all electric. We don't have any propane in the bus. We have our coffee station here, our water filtration system. We love this kettle. There's a little bit of a splurge, but I think it looks good. Yep, got the cabinets up here. We really wanted sliding doors and we were trying to figure out how to build them and we're like couldn't figure out, couldn't find like a easy way. And then we stumbled on this at Home Depot. They're like tracks, but they're not meant for this, but they work really well. And these are just like plywood. So in here we have some cleaning supplies, some towels, a, a water heater, three gallon Bosch works really well gets the water really, really hot. Our whole uh, countertop, uh, I mean like storage, we got it from our cousin. They were built-ins that came from a house that they were demolishing and they were still in really good condition. So we kind of 
cut them apart and pieced them together and like made it into something that would fit. This right here is our shower slash toilet area. So we can take the toilet out when we need to shower and then use our shower head. That We can also do an outdoor shower with this. We can just open the window here and just throw the shower head outside and can shower outside of the bus in addition to the other shower that we have already on the outside of the bus. So this is it. It's a cassette toilet, like we use it. Um, I mean, everyone that lives this lifestyle understands the ins and outs of it. And uh, I, mean, I mean, it works great. Doesn't smell, it's tucked away. It's not, it's not, it doesn't stay there. It doesn't have to stay there all the time. We can move it. We can put it outside if we wanted to. Like, I mean, it works. It's good. Okay, so here we have our Air Max fans. Uh, you can turn it air in and out, which is great for when you're cooking. You can like literally just either open one of the windows and let it like pulling air out, or you can just turn both of them and have the air circulating while you're cooking or if it's hot and you wanna cool down the spot. The pros obviously are just being out in nature, getting to meet new people everywhere you go, um, really just making your own schedule and your own priorities. Um, cons obviously are the chores that come along with it. You know, we all have to stop and fill up our water tanks, find a place for water. Uh, we have to find a way to get mail on the road. Um, dump the, the cassette toilet. Um, cities. Being in cities. We love cities. We both do. And it, it is very difficult to find a place to park. Even when you do find places to park, nowhere is really level and made for you to park a bus and stay in it. So, and it's illegal in most states. So that part is a bit of a bummer and a bit of adjustment and a learning curve. I mean, you have everything you need with you. You know, like I got my bikes, if something breaks on my bikes. Like I have everything to fix it in the bus. Like if I, if I break up a, a deck skateboarding, like I have an extra deck in the bus with me that I can just not end my day and just keep on going. And I can take a shower right after a session, you know, before I drive anywhere. I mean, those are really good. We love the outside shower when, whenever it's hot enough outside to like take a shower outside. Yeah, we definitely didn't have an outdoor shower in the apartment. That's, no. that's a perk. <laughs> Everybody loves an outdoor shower. This is the bedroom in the back of the bus. Um, we've got our fridge sort of mounted on a slider that goes in and out. We can pull it out, um, use it for a little step to get up into the bed. It helps because the bed is quite high. Um, the fridge is uh, really nice. We like it a lot. It's It holds a ton of stuff. We usually keep beverages on one side and food on the other, but in the instance that we want to have some ice cream in the summer, we can switch one side to freezer, load it up with ice and ice cream and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, it's been a really great piece for us. We like it a lot. So we built these small walls just to kind of give a little bit of separation into the bedroom, but we didn't want it to feel closed off. So we kept them pretty short. Um, I got this wallpaper and did it when Marcella wasn't looking one day. I love it. I think it just adds a little bit of pop and the color goes really well with my pretty chairs. Um, behind, these walls, there's actually a couple of little cubbies. So this is sort of my nightstand. I throw my glasses in here. Um, we've got some chargers for the cell phones in here and it just keeps it hidden because it's tucked behind the wall, but we can access it when we're in bed. Um, over here, we've got some clothes storage. That's my robe busting out right now. Um, Marcella's clothes are here. And then extra blankets and clothes just at the foot of the bed because we do have about six inches of space. Um, 
it wasn't really, we couldn't quite figure out how we wanted to build storage there, but we make use of it. You have to use all the space in a tiny home. Um, queen size mattress, regular pillow top, huge mattress. We sleep really well on it. It's comfy. We've got um, curtains and blinds in the back windows. You can open those to let the light in or to open the door and have your coffee off the back of the bus. We've got an outlet back there in case you want to plug in a TV in the future. That was um, kind of our thought, but of course in this life you don't really have a lot of use for television. <laughs> so sometimes we charge the laptop back there. Um, if we could do it all over again, we would definitely rethink some of the outlets we used, more USB, um, and then just better locations. As we built, we kind of did the wiring and then put the furniture in, and so we just had to go with it. Um, but obviously one of those learning curves that we'd mix it up a little bit on the second time. Uh, this blanket is our favorite. Um, our friend Parker makes blankets and so we're really happy to support his business and then also it just matches so well. So I, I had to have it. Yeah, we love it. Parker made. Okay, this is our garage space. Um, I think we have a lot of room here. I mean, I can, I can fit my bike in, which is a bit difficult. Like, got to take the the wheel off and everything, but it does fit. And I have all my tools here, like stuff to do some other projects while we're on the road. Ah, uh, we got our water tank here. I think we have like 48 gallons of fresh water that is under the bed here. Uh, hoses for when we need to fill it up and all, all that stuff. So like our bed's up here, as you can see. So you can, we can't really sit on the bed and have our foot out and just like watch because the, because the top there like be looking, staring at the ceiling there. But you can lay down in bed and like pick your head out and like admi admire whatever place we're at. There's a lot of beautiful places that we can park and enjoy the outdoors. Literally do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> like I'm the most scheduled person. I'm very much, I like a routine and I like to follow the rules. And this was stepping way outside of my comfort zone. And um, it was the best decision I ever made. And if you don't like it, you can go back to regular life. But I think there's so much to learn from living this life, even just for a short amount of time that um, you can't go wrong. It's never gonna hurt, just try it. Yeah, don't let fear stop you from living life. You know, like everything is reversible. The only thing not reversible is death and we're all gonna get there. But while we're here, like you should make the best of it and try everything that you wanna try. You know, like the worst thing that can happen is you be on the hole for a little bit because of money. And I mean, you can always make more money. You cannot make more days and more months and more life. So don't let fear stop you from trying new things. Thanks for coming to see our house. We hope you liked it. If you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out. We love to reminisce about the build and, and help, help other people out, in. see that they have less of a hard time building it you know like it's very scary and it takes a lot of time for most people you know so we're happy to help and make that journey easier for you and you can find us on instagram bus named billy bus underscore named underscore billy with an ie hope to see you guys out there on the road somewhere feel free to stop by anytime unless the curtains are closed and now it's time to go <laughs> later